Residents and visitors of St. Martin, good day. On Sunday, the Emergency Operations Center continued to monitor closely the progress of Tropical Storm Beryl. All 10 emergency support functions of the country's disaster management system, as well as supporting entities such as the Marines, continue to make preparations related to the storm. The 10 emergency support functions comprises of GEBE, telecommunications, police, fire, communications, government organization, tourism, social and welfare affairs, public health, and Ministry of Romi or public works. The EUC decided to take the following decisions after consultation with the Meteorological Department of St. Martin. St. Martin remains under a tropical storm watch. A small craft advisory is also in effect until Tuesday. Based on the forecast, Tropical Storm Beryl is moving quickly towards the islands. Late Sunday morning, Beryl was over 345 miles southeast of St. Martin. The forecast track has Beryl passing about 120 miles south of St. Martin sometime early Monday. Beryl's maximum wind speeds are 45 miles per hour with higher gusts. Gradual weakening is forecast during the next 36 hours. Expected weather conditions to affect St. Martin are as follows. Gusty winds up to 26 knots, 30 miles per hour, can be expected Sunday night through Monday with occasional higher gusts. Seas are deteriorating. Swells of up to 10 feet are expected. Small craft operators and sea bathers should be vigilant. Rainfall accumulations of less than 2 inches is expected, and minor flooding is possible in low-lying areas. Key emergency support functions such as the fire department, police, public health, social and welfare affairs, and the Marines are on standby for rapid response to an emergency. Regarding the business sector, Monday will be a normal working day, and it is the prerogative of the business owner or manager whether employees should report to work under the pending rainy conditions. All government services to the community will continue as normal, the St. Martin Airport will remain open as well. Concerning electricity and water supply from GEBE, those services will remain available during the passing of the storm. The government of St. Martin has taken precautionary measures. Due to a number of homes still under construction and roofs not fully repaired, the Emergency Operations Center took the decision on Saturday morning to open three hurricane shelters. Shelters will open at 5 p.m. today, Sunday, and close on Monday at 5 p.m. These shelters are the Dutch Quarter Community Center, located on Zorg and Rust in Dutch Quarter, the Milton Peters College Gym, located at L.B. Scott Road in South Reward, the Christian Fellowship Church, located on Welfare Road 95 in Cole Bay. Individuals and families should first make arrangements to stay with family, friends, and or neighbors and to secure their personal belongings before they leave their current location for one of the three shelters. Persons who will be making use of these shelters must bring along with them Water, food, snacks, baby formula, medications, bed sheets, blankets, toilet paper, and other toiletries for the 24-hour period. Families must also ensure that they bring along enough of the aforementioned 
for each member of their family. The shelter rules are no weapons, for example, guns, knives, or blades, no drugs or alcohol, no obscene language or destruction of property, no stealing, no cooking in the shelter, no smoking, no sexual activity, and no pets or animals will be allowed in the shelter. Those making use of the shelter must make sure they keep their area clean. Guests must be dressed appropriately at all times. Keep your valuables with you at all times. Cell phone usage must not violate quiet area and lights out rules. Those making use of the shelter must follow all instructions given by the shelter management staff. All persons staying in the shelter must sign in and out at all times. The shelter management team will provide sleeping bags and cots. The Emergency Operations Center continues to closely monitor the progress of Tropical Storm Barrel. Residents are advised to do the same. Additional updates about Tropical Storm Barrel will be provided by the Meteorological Department and the Department of Communication. All residents are advised to monitor weather reports from MeteoSXM.com and check the Government of St. Martin website, stmartingov.org, or the Government of St. Martin Facebook page and Government Radio Station 107.9 FM for official information as it relates to the national preparations. Thank you for your attention. And may God bless our St. Martin land and keep us safe.